Well, hello. Hey guys. Welcome back. Um, I was thinking, it's really not fair. I can't call it a review video. If I don't actually put this shit on my hands, can I? <laughs> anyway. So I'm just kind of adding on extension to the video that was just done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply these. I have already sized out the ones that I needed for my fingers. And what I do, because I also do other people's nails too. Not many people, but a few. Friends and family. So, I took my name, put what my numbers are, 1, 5, 4, 5, and 8. Printed that out with my label maker and put it on top there. And then when I go, I can just grab out the numbers I need. And also when I go to refill, I know what to order. I don't have to order a whole pack. I just order the, because they sell these in individual number packages. And they're only like $3 a piece or something. They're not much at all. Uh, 50 comes in a pack. Also the... um care sky jelly tips and stuff like that they sell all those in little refill packs and you can buy them by the individual number so i've already sized myself out got my numbers written down just a tip when you're sizing yourself out when you when you measure it you want to make sure it goes evenly from side to side you're not having to push it down to make it fit it you just gently lay it on there and it fits perfectly and then you know it's your size so I've watched so many reviews on this and I think it's going to be a really awesome system I'm very excited to use it I think it's going to be easy um, <clears throat> I think uh, I just think it's going to be really great and I like gel I'm not a fan of the acrylic and stuff. I like to be able to just soak off my nails. I don't like to have to have them, uh, have to get them drilled off and all that. I like to be able to just soak them off. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's not better for them. I just personally feel like it is. I have not done my nail prep yet. I just felt like I was going to leave that in here. Because I want to do a nail prep video um i want people to you know know how important nail prep is it's very important to keep your product from lifting that's the number one reason that product lifts off people's finger fingernails is you know not not um not doing your prep correctly I just want to say guys like this video leave me a comment down below share it subscribe for me when I get to 50 subscribers I am going to send out a really awesome thank you box to one lucky winner I'm going to do an awesome giveaway. Um, I'll do a video. I'm not going to say which one it is or anything. And I'm not going to say what part it is. But there will be some little secret thing in there. That you will have to tell me or something. Uh, and then the people that reply with that proper, proper little secret code or whatever. I will put them into the giveaway. I am not just taking junk that I have and piling it up to give to a giveaway all the things that I didn't want because that's what I've noticed all the youtubers do they'll say well you know I got this and I don't really like it so I'm gonna keep the good one for myself and I'm gonna put the other one in the giveaway box and I just feel like that's so rude it's like you're saying you're just gonna you know give somebody your trash and not that I wouldn't be grateful to get anything for free because, shoot, free's awesome. Can't beat free. 
But I just, I don't know, I took offense to that. I was like, well, I, mean, I wouldn't even enter your little giveaway because I don't want your garbage. So, I don't know. If it wasn't good enough for you, what makes you think it's good enough for me? So, that's not how I'm doing mine, guys. I'm doing mine, um... I'm actually ordering stuff for the purpose of the giveaway box. And I am also, uh, when I do pick out whoever the winner will be, I'm going to ask them what colors they like and if, if they're in need of anything or if there's anything they've had on their wish list or anything like that. And I'm going to hook them up. It's going to be something they actually want. It's going to be something they're going to be so excited to get in the mail. Something that's going to really help them out. So... It'll be a good day. It'll be a good thing. Um, I'm excited to start this channel. I am self-taught. I and I'm barely self-taught at that. Uh, YouTube has taught me <laughs> what little bit I do know. I am a nurse, and I have been a nurse for 25 years. During the um, pandemic all the nail salons were shut down and my nails looked absolutely ratchet and I have to say like I do a lot of typing at work and no nobody's looking at my fingers but me but I just got I just hated to look at them it, it just looked so raggedy and then um they were all grown out and I didn't know how to take them off so I had to like Fry them off, and then of course that tore up my fingernails, and oh, it was just such a daggum mess. I tell you, it was such a mess. Um, <clears throat> so I started, um, you know, those little like press-on kits you get at Walmart or whatever. Those things don't stay on longer than like two minutes. So I was going to look on YouTube to see if I could find any tips or tricks for keeping push-ons, press-ons, I'm sorry, press-ons on my nails for, for a good amount of time. And I did, well, I did find some stuff, but it didn't, I didn't really think it was going to work for me. I'm a person that has more of an oily nail bed, so even when I get my nails done at the salon, I usually have one or two come off, come off before the two weeks is up. And the only thing I can think of is either I'm really hard on them, or I have oily nail beds, or it could be because I'm a nurse and I'm constantly using my nails as tools to open medication bottles and medication packets and different little things for patients and um, also... I wash my hands a zillion times a day because of the job that I do. So, you know, I don't know, it's probably a combination of the above that has my nails coming off in such a short amount of time. So I was looking around online. And I found so many nail videos. Uh, I watched Long Hair Pretty Nails. I watched Emily Susanna. I watched Femi Beauty. Uh, Gigi's Nails. Um, that nail career education lady. I can't remember her name. She's really awesome. But I just started watching these. And oh my gosh. The more I watched them. I, I was just. I was into it guys I got so into it and the next thing and then and I discovered poly gel and that stuff looks so easy and I thought well heck I can do that and I was also desperate to do something at home you know to get my nails looking good again the salon still weren't open and weren't any any looking of them opening anytime soon now I will say I'm in bad need of a pedicure, so I'm still thinking about going to the salon to get my pedicures, or does anyone have any tips for me on a pedicure? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of leery on that one. I'm not sure I can do my own pedicures. <laughs> Maybe I can. 
I never thought I could do my own nails. I never thought I could do this, guys. Never in a million years did I think I could do this. And never in a million years did I think I would film it and put it on YouTube. I don't know what has happened to me. I've lost my daggum mind. The pandemic has made me go crazy, I guess. But anyway. Um, so, I watched all those people and I watched the um, polygel kits. And the next thing you know, guys, I was on the cart ordering two kits. Then I had them at my house. And I put them on. And it was so easy. And I was like, holy smokes. And I'd done my daughter's nails. And I'd done my nails. And I'd done my other daughter's nails. And I'd done her girlfriend's nails. And before you know, knew it, I was ordering dip powders. And I'm now I'm ordering this this appraised gel like system, <laughs> and I have ordered so many little uh, rhinestones and stickers and um, decals and foil transfers, and I'm like, what has happened to me? I am a nurse. I have never in a million years had an interest in doing nails. What in the world has happened to me? But one thing that I've noticed, like when I watch all these videos, these girls are doing these insanely long nail designs. And I just can't have nails like that. I'm a nurse. I, I you know, I'm a professional. I have to have fairly short nails. I can't be jabbing patients. I can't be... You know, getting in trouble because it's actually in the rule book that we're not even allowed to wear artificial nails to work because they claim that they harbor germs. Now, they might do it. I don't know. But at work and, be and before I start work and after work, before I go home and then in between my patients and stuff, I, uh, I do use hand sanitizers a lot and stuff, but I also, there's like a little cut or a divot or something in my nail. Maybe that's leftover nail polish. I don't know. But anyway, um, I do use hand sanitizers a lot, of course, and I also, uh, this is not what an average nurse does, but I do this because I do wear false nails. I carry one of these around in my uh, pocket and I will squirt my soap down in there and I'll make sure to get up underneath my fake nails good and you know that may be one reason that that they, they don't last that long on me and they start trying to come off before my two weeks is up and stuff now I usually don't use lose many I might lose one to two sometimes it has been three just depends but you know I I go that extra little step just to make sure I am getting all the germs and stuff off of my nails because I'm not trying to get my patients sick or anything like that so um, it is against the rules though so I don't want to draw attention to myself with these super long nails now all I'm doing here I have a ball bit on here this is my drill from the cart it's on full power and I'm just gonna go around my cuticles and get those cuticles off I have as you saw I pushed them back and I scraped up all that I could now I'm just gonna go this is a great um, option for kind of going around and cutting that off I don't like to use the nippers if I don't have to I usually end up cutting myself or someone else every time I use those dang things. So, I try not to use them if I don't have to. Now, I did buy me a dust collector. And I was so excited to use it. If you guys watched my unboxing video, you would have... Uh, not unboxing. Yeah, I, I think I called it an unboxing. But it was my haul video. Nail haul video. Ow! Got myself good there. Anyway, it was my nail haul video, and um, 
I was, you would have seen my massive excitement to receive that, um, oh, dust collector. But, my husband is asleep right now, so I'm not trying to make any more noise than is necessary. I don't want to bother him, and I didn't really feel like going out to the kitchen table. I just wanted to sit in my room and watch Snapped on the TV and do some nails. And probably going to color in my coloring book when I get done with this, and then just fall asleep in my chair like I always do. And then when my husband wakes up, he'll be mad because I didn't come and get in bed. I can't help it. I just fall asleep in my chair all the time. I'm not the come to bed kind. I'm always so busy. But anyway. I think that one's going to give me a problem. Um... Alright, now back to my little little story. I was watching all these girls and they're amazing. Don't get me wrong. They are super talented. I don't know where they got their training at, but man are they ever talented with their uh, designs and their application and their creativity. Boy, then there's some, some talented girls. This YouTube is full of nail talent. Anyway, um, so I learned so much from them, but I knew that I couldn't wear the nails that they were doing because I can't wear long nails, I can't wear crazy nails to work. I have to wear more of a basic nail, um, you know. So, I thought, I wonder if there's ladies like me out there. I wonder if there's ladies out there that's, you know, about middle age, professional women. Their nail salon's shut down. They're needing, you know, something they can do from home. And that's why I decided to start this channel and see if it, you know, see if it goes anywhere. But I just thought, I can't be the only one, can I? The only lady out here my age trying to do nails at home and figure out this crazy world of nails. And I can't do all the really cool stuff that these, these young girls do. And I, I think one, I don't know, like maybe YouTube is their job or maybe they are nail techs for a living or something. And that's how they get away with wearing those crazy nail designs. You know, I don't know. But I couldn't imagine that they're going into regular nine to five jobs or even like factory work or Walmart or McDonald's or I mean I couldn't imagine that they're going into very many jobs with those nails they're just not practical although they've said you know that you kind of get used to it when you wear longer nails like that you just get used to it and you learn to adapt on how you do things you know And I'm sure that that's true. But I just don't think middle-aged women such as myself are into those long crazy nail designs and stuff. So I would, I would, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. But I would think ladies more my age are into the more simple, basic little nail designs and stuff. So... I never in a million years thought I would be using one of these drills. 
This just shocks me. Every time I pick this thing up, it just shocks me. I mean, it don't shock me. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that could have... Ah! I guess that could have come out wrong there, couldn't it? Um, the drill doesn't shock me. Physically, anyway. It shocks me mentally. That I'm actually using one. And, you know, I, I keep calling it a drill... And, uh, my daughter, she's 18, and she's like, it's called an e-file now, Mom. Everybody calls it an e-file now. It's like, oh, well, excuse me. Back in, back in my day, it was called a drill. And I will say this little drill from McCart is a wonderful beginner um, option. I think it would be great for beginners. I can't get that little place right there. There we go. I'm getting it now. Oh, I was supposed to turn this in like reverse or something, wasn't I? Oh my goodness. Wow, you guys. Oh, wow. Yep, doing a better job now. Wow. See there? See, I'm still learning so much. I was wondering why it wasn't doing all that good of a job with its little, little cutting abilities. Oh, well. It makes sense, I guess, now. <laughs> like, what is wrong with this thing? But well, anything wrong with it, there's something wrong with the operator of it. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I still got a long ways to go, you guys. Long ways to go. So, what made you guys click on my video? What made you guys decide to watch this video? I'm trying to get, um, you know, ah, shit. tips and stuff of how I can do it better. What I'm doing that people like, or what I'm doing that they don't like. Stuff like that, so that I can do a, you know, do a better job. So, just tell me what, what drew you to, to this video or any of my other videos. Tell me what I can do to improve What I do that you like, what I do that you don't like. And I'm going to also be doing some review videos on stuff other than nails. I know that this is like primarily a nail channel that I'm, that I'm doing here. I even call it Simply Southern Nails. Um, I live in the South. I live in Tennessee. So... I thought uh, we're going to be doing simple things here, and I'm a southern girl from Tennessee, so simply southern nails. I thought it sounded good. Okay, so I've got a few pieces that I'm going to have to, might have to end up using the nippers on, they're just like hateful little pieces that just will not go anywhere. Wait, I need to turn it back in the other direction. There we go. Oh, Lord. What a, what a job that takes. How long did that take? Oh, wow. 24 minutes for nail prep. That's just doggone crazy right there. have plain alcohol here. I'm just going to swipe these off. Get all the dust off of them so I can see. I hate 
using these nippers, guys, but just got a couple little pieces that just did not. I use, I use these nippers on my son, and I have to say, his cuticles were absolutely horrible. I was giving him a little manicure, and, uh, you know, he'd never had anything like that done before, and his, so his cuticles were deplorable, and I made him bleed a couple different times, so I felt so bad. And of course, you don't want to ever, ever do that. You know, you don't want to do it to the point that you're bleeding. Of course not, you know. Sometimes with these nippers, I feel like they're not, maybe not sharp enough or something. I just don't always feel like they're getting it all the way off. Or, I mean, not that they're not getting it off, but they're not like just slicing through it. I almost have to like, just kind of get a hold of it and pull it off. And that's not what I'm trying to do. I want to cut it off. So, alright, I think that's good that I try not to go overboard with that Lord I'd be, if I did it the way I want to over here all day picking and digging and carrying on at it okay I have a little uh, buffing block here all four sides have a different grit to them so I think I'm gonna use this one I don't know what grit it is it didn't say I just feel love them and this one feels good and gritty <laughs> So I'm just going to kind of rough up each nail there. So a little bit about me and please tell me about you. I would love to get to know you guys. Uh, I am 40 years old. I, well, I say I've been in nursing 25 years. I think it's been uh, 22, I guess. I've been doing it since I was 18. I started out as a CNA. I actually took the CNA class when I was 16. Started out as a CNA and worked my... Um, First, you know, several jobs, and I, I, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Being a CNA was awesome. I got such good and close, loving relationships with my, with my residents and my patients. I'd absolutely consider them like my, my family, and I know they considered me their family. We got very close. Um, but I'd done that for about eight years, and then I went to nursing school. I went through a really bad divorce, and after the divorce, you know, he wasn't supporting the children in any kind of way, and I knew I was going to need more of an income, so I went to nursing school, and I've been doing that for 13 years years this is my 13th year as a nurse and I do love it also being a nurse is really awesome um, it is hard work it is grueling work it is backbreaking work it is sad work it is happy work it is stressful work it is mentally consuming work um, it has negatives, of course, just like any job, and then it has plenty of positives, of course. Um, 
I don't get the closeness to my residence like I did as a CNA, but I still get um, some closeness with them. I definitely develop a relationship with them. I just don't get to spend as much time with them as I did a, as a CNA, and that, that really hurts because I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. They were definitely my babies. And I, I definitely put myself into my work. I am all there for those people. But anyway, I have four children. I was uh, married to their father for 10 years. And uh, in those 10 years, we had four children. We got married very young. Uh, I was 16, he was 18 when we got married, and you know, that's, I'm sure that that's what led to our downfall. We were, we were just too young, but I got pregnant, I was a teen mom, so as 16 years old, we thought it was best, you know, to get married, and, and that's what we done, and, and you know, things were good for a while, but yeah, it just, you know, it just fell apart. So I'm remarried now, and my two oldest girls are grown and have moved out of the house. My son is 17. My girls are uh, 23 and 18, and my uh, son is 17. He still lives at home, of course, and then I have a 14-year-old daughter at home still, of course. My son, the 17-year-old, he's my only boy. The other three are girls, and he has autism, so he has some, you know, some special needs and some challenges that we deal with with him, but that's okay. We love him. We wouldn't trade him for the world. Okay, so all of our nail prep is done, and now we are ready to begin any kind of of application we want from here we could put on tips we could put on full cover nails we could put on our poly gel we could just uh, paint these with some gel polish we could do whatever we want to do because we have done our nail prep and they are good and ready to go after I buffed them and took all the shine off of them I wiped them down again with the alcohol pad I didn't say that, but I, but you saw me, you know, doing it. But anyway, so all of our nail prep is done now, and we are ready for whatever kind of nails we desire to do.